Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Ray Bradbury. If you've not subscribed to our channel, please do. All right, so here on Let's Talk Ray Bradbury, we are reviewing 100 short stories by the master himself. We are down to about the last 20, 25 stories, but we're gonna continue today with By the Numbers. Uh, in this short tale, a man is riding uh, on a train somewhere near Los Angeles, and he's suddenly stricken by a memory, a memory of uh, 35 years earlier when he was in LA by a pool and he saw this strange relationship going on between a father and a son. The father was the pool keeper and he was marching his son around like a member of the military, sort of ruthlessly hour after hour, um, having him march, swim, sometimes stand at attention for long hours under the sun. And uh, our narrator here, um, often drinking a little bit too much with his buddy. At one point, uh, he is heard, um, overheard criticizing the man and his, his parenting, and he nearly comes to blows with the man, but uh, he theorizes that one day, you know, this kid's gonna murder his, his father, surely. Uh, but he's, uh, he's had this memory all of a sudden because he recognized somebody sitting on the train now in the presence, and that is in fact the boy. Uh, they sat down together, they have some drinks, and he asked him, you know, what? ever became your father. And it turns out that shortly after the last time they had seen each other, um, one time his father had him standing at attention at the edge of the pool. Uh, he heard a splash, the father fell in, and uh, the boy did not go in to help him because one, he didn't know that the father couldn't swim, but two, uh, the father had previously played tricks on him try to get him to snap from attention and sort of break his his authority. Uh, so apparently uh, he just stood there and, um, and uh, listened and did nothing as his father drowned. Uh, but now um, on this train ride, the boy walks away, or the man rather, and you know, he still looks like he's marching a little bit, like he's never <clears throat> ever allowed to be at ease and he's still um, under his father's orders all these decades later. So, um, the question here is, did the boy's, is the boy's story true? Did he really not know that his father needed help? And um, was he unable to break that spell of authority? Or did he just let the bastard drown? Hmm, um, that'd be an interesting take on it. But I think, um, I think he's telling the truth here. I think he was so scared to death of his father that, um, and the brainwashing really, and he he just couldn't move. He was sort of um, frozen in place, and um, that really um, brings to light sort of an interesting thing about um, growing up and getting older. And you realize that some of your behaviors are so um, ingrained and decided by what happened to you as a child. I can relate to this certainly quite a bit, and. So I get the what I get, what I get the, here is the feeling that um, uh, this young man is still paralyzed by the way he was treated in the past, which tells me, um, you know, uh, be a good parent if you're a parent, right? Uh, because it's easy to royally fuck up your children. Um, all right, guys, uh, by the numbers, interesting little tale by Ray Bradbury. Not completely fulfilling as a story, not wonderful, but uh, there's still a little bit here to think about. It's not a bad tale. Um, it was turned into an episode of Bradbury Theater, so you might want to check that out if you can. And I'll be back soon with the next story review, which is April 2005, Usher 2. And I'll see you again soon.